faceplate technology can be a huge time saver for any engineer because they can create their visualization as well as their control. They can save that faceplate to the global library and reuse it over and over again. This means they can do rapid HMI development as well as global changes quickly and efficiently. Let me show you an example of this. As you can see here in my system, I actually have two HMIs. On this first one that's up, I have machine one in the first row, machine two in the second row for the multiple different motors. And of course, I have corresponding faceplates for these. However, they're identical, and this is the problem. So let's graphically change this and make it obvious. Let's go to the first faceplate here. Just click on it and go down to choose Edit Faceplate. Now it's going to launch the faceplate editor. Now that I have that, let me click on him again and go down to Properties. And let's change the background. That should be obvious. Let's change it from gray to blue. Up here in the left-hand corner, I have Release Faceplate Type. Let's click on that. Now it's going to go back and update all the faceplates that I have used already. And as you can see, all of Machine 1 has been changed. Now the beautiful thing is, this means it would also change it for the entire HMI architecture, including SCADA. If I go back to Panel 3, it's even changed it there. Now that's engineering efficiency.